Good morning, good morning, good morning, Dr. Pinesett here. And we are continuing our series, guys, giving your morning dose, your daily dose of Dr. Pinesett, helping you get better in this time of craziness with coronavirus, with social distancing. So tune in today. We are continuing to talk about the practicing mind and how you guys can have more joy and more contentment in your pursuits and more focus in it. So let's go hit the intro. But stop making excuses. Stop whining. Stop, right? Get at it. No excuses. Just dominate. All right, guys, like I said, I'm Dr. Pinesett. I like to bring you guys, I said, I'm always about positivity and productivity. So I'm trying to bring you something that make you more, feel more positive, right? Make your day more positive, or I'm trying to bring something that make your day more productive. So it's all about moving forward. And I know this time it's hard to feel like things are moving forward because you're stuck in your house, right? Or you can't go pursue the extra you want to do, or you can't go to class even. So it's hard to feel productive, but it's okay. We're gonna get through this. We are gonna move, we're gonna march, and we are gonna progress. And we're gonna do it mentally, and we're gonna do it physically from our homes. So we continue on with this quote from the awesome book, The Practicing Mind, Developing Focus and Discipline in Your Life by Thomas M. Sterner. We're still on the first sentence of the introduction, but there's so much richness in it. If you missed our previous two sessions, please go back, watch those sessions. So you can get caught up on us where we're at but the sentence starts real peace and contentment in our lives comes from re realizing that life is a process to engage in a journey down a path that we can choose and i added and choose to experience as magical so there's two types of choosing right so previously we talked about the fact that we choose our journey we choose our goals we choose the life we live so if you aren't happy in the life you're living you got to change it if you aren't happy in the results you're getting, you gotta change, right? So you are choosing what happens in your life, what life you live, and how that life goes for you. This last part, and the reason this is its own segment because it's very, very powerful, particularly in a time like we have now with social distancing, particularly for you guys as students who often your life feels like social distancing. You feel aloof from others because maybe you're in a major that is difficult, that is more strenuous than other people's. And so you look at them frolicking in the grass and having fun and you're like, man, I've got to study, right? Or maybe you're in whatever major you're in and even people within your major, you feel like you have to work harder than. You don't have the photographic memory. You don't have all the tutoring support. You don't have whatever you feel that other people have that gives them a leg up that makes them more efficient than you. You don't feel like you have it, right? So what we're gonna talk about today is the fact that whatever our journey is, it is in fact our journey, our own journey, and we decide, we choose if we wanna experience it as magical. So often in life, people are out of control of their emotions because they feel out of control of their world. What I teach my students to do and what I did that really turned my life around and made me A, successful, but also made me happy in that success was the fact that I decided to prepare, to inform, to get to the place where I had all the knowledge and tools and desire and dedication I needed to be in control of my life. For many of you guys, you feel anxious, you feel uncertain, you feel stressed because things feel out of your control. Maybe right now that's even heightened for you because now not only are you out of control of your career, but now you're out of control of your whole life completely because you're on quarantine or whatever's going on in your life. You feel like people around you, you can't control if they get sick, if they're gonna die, you don't know what's gonna happen with coronavirus, right? You feel extreme out of control. So your anxiety, your stress is higher right now. That's okay, that's normal. But what we have to understand, guys, is that A, we can take control of our lives, because I've done it, my students do it. So you do have the option to take control of your lives, but there are gonna be times where you don't have the tools, the knowledge, whatever, to be in control. And that happens. Even to some of myself, sometimes in situations, I'm not in control. What we always have control of is how that situation, how our life, how a moment, how we feel about it, and how we react to it. Too often, we don't realize we have control. We can take control of our life if we wanted to. We have, we can choose our life. We don't realize that. But then even worse, we don't realize that whatever's happening in our life, because sometimes we can't control everything. We can't control coronavirus, but we can control how we react, how we feel about it, right? And, and our action, how we react to it. We have control over that. We can choose, as this sentence says, to experience our journey, our path, the things we go through as magical. Even things that you may think, wait, there's nothing magical about this. There is merit, there is value to every experience, every encounter you have. I'm literally, this is our third session on one sentence from a book. Think about how this one sentence at some point in my life transformed me to a place that prompted me to write an entire freaking book over here on the side of this book about it. One sentence. For you guys, maybe it's this video today, maybe it's hearing me today that's making you feel like, wow, okay, 
Today is magical. There is something magical about today. You get to decide how you feel, guys. You get to decide how you perceive things and you get to decide what you do as something happens to you and after something happens to you. You get to decide. I'll give you an example. This coronavirus situation. There are many people out here who are losing their mind, who are losing their humanity, who are choosing to be subhuman, to hoard supplies they don't need, that they're never gonna use, not thinking about their neighbor. There are young people who think, oh, I'm immune to this, so I don't need to stop doing what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna party, I'm gonna go out and be in common areas, I'm gonna spread this around because it doesn't affect me. Not thinking about the elderly people, it does affect me. If I get corona, I get corona. At the end of the day, I'm not gonna let it stop me from partying. Not thinking about the immunocompromised people, it does affect Not thinking about the healthcare workers like myself who are gonna have to treat the people they infect. That's their choice in this situation. But you have an option, you have a choice, you can choose to react differently to this. You can choose not to look at this as the world is ending. You can look at this as an opportunity to reevaluate. You can use this as a, how have you guys felt so rushed in your life before this happened? You're always going here and there and gotta be seen by this person. You're worried about what they think. All these things happening all the time. Now there's none of that. Now you have the opportunity to do what guys? You have the opportunity to reset, to readjust, to use this time to change yourself, to improve yourself, to better yourself. For me, this is a great time, right? Because it gives me the opportunity to be at home with my family all day when I'm not at the hospital. It gives me the opportunity to read, to sit still, because there is no hustle bustle. There is nowhere to go. I'm here. I'm here with my family and with my books. So I'm using this as an opportunity to connect with my loved ones. We made slime yesterday. It was horrible. It got everywhere. I, I, I thought it was gonna be fun. Like we're gonna make some slime. Like I think like my kid, my childhood, I was like, oh, we made slime. It was cool. It drooped. Apparently homemade slime is, that's why you pay a premium for the pre-made slime. Our slime was not that. It got everywhere. My kids were excited when it was sticking to stuff. So it got everywhere and it was a wreck, but it was awesome. And it was a moment, right, that I could have been upset that, oh man, I have to clean up all this slime. It's everywhere, it's on the ceiling. I don't know how my kids got on the ceiling. It was on the ceiling. I could have been upset. I could have been angry. I could have said, man, this was terrible. Like, it's, I'm gonna have to clean all this up. Oh my gosh. But I looked at it as magical, right? You guys can hear, my, you guys may hear this. I don't know if you guys can hear it. My daughter's crying in the background right now. I could be upset about it. I could say, oh, this is not, this is life, guys. This is magical. This is what we live in. This is what we experience. I'm human just like you. I have a family just like you. I have responsibilities, I have obligations, I have things that go on that aren't perfect just like you. But I choose to see it all as magical, all as part of the process. So my wife and I had a great time laughing and cleaning up that slime yesterday. It was, it was funny. It was cool. It was a moment. It was like, man, this is awesome. We're gonna look back on fondness on this moment when our kids are old and they don't wanna play with slime anymore. Remember the time you guys got slime? It's all magical. For me, yes, it's a scary time with coronavirus. Yes, it's difficult for me to go to the hospital. Yes, my wife worries about me going to the hospital. She doesn't want me to go because she, she knows I'm putting myself in harm's way. But we all have to recognize we have a choice. We can react. I can call in sick and not go to work. But what about the patient who needs me? What about the life I may save today? That's the magic, right? I'm seeing it as, no, it's not a burden. This is an opportunity for me to step up. This is an opportunity to put my humanity to the test to see who I really am, what I'm really about, what my principles are. And so I'm continuing to teach. I'm continuing to help in the hospital. I'm continuing to be a loving father and a caring husband to my family. I'm continuing, I'm choosing to make this moment. I know it's a dark time, but there is beauty in this in the sense that I get to be alone with my books and with my family and I get to provide meaningful patient care. I'm choosing to see the magic in the moment. And for you guys, I challenge you now and forever in moments, look for the magic. Even in a loss, look for the win. Because I know I've taken many a L, many a L in my journey. But all those losses, guys, I, I, I may have lost the day, but I don't lose the lesson. I may, right? And, and that I find joy in that lesson and that butt kicking I take, right? That whooping that I learned from, right? My parents say, you, you're about to learn from this whooping. I learned from all the whoopings I took and it made me a better person. And so I take joy in that. I find the magic even in failure, right? I remember, like some of you guys are in school right now. I remember, guys, I got an F and for a second, for a millisecond, I was upset. I was angry, I was downtrodden, I was hopeless, I said, oh, I'll never get into medical school, I got an F on my transcript. I was all these things. And then I pulled it back and I said, wait a minute, there's some magic sprinkle dust here right now. And I said, why did I get the F? I got the F because I was arrogant, right? I had been a poor student, a terrible student, and I had improved and I was getting the A's and I was feeling myself, right? Was that a Beyonce song? Feeling myself, right? I was feeling myself, I felt so good, so hype. 
I got overconfident. And so I looked back at what I was doing and I didn't even go to class for this math class. I didn't crack the book until the week of the midterm. It was a wreck because I was overconfident because I felt so good about my math skills. But as you guys know, this class was calculus, by the way. Calculus is not real math. That's basically some stuff they made up to frustrate us. I know it for sure, right? And so I recognized that I had made a mistake that I had put myself in a position to get that F. And there was magic in that because it was my fault. And so therefore I could what? Choose to be different. I could choose a different path to go back to last time, right? I could choose, right, to get out of my complacency, out of my peace, fire myself up and recognize I need to put in work. And so I put in the work the next time I took the class and I ended up getting a B plus in that class, which for me was a feat because my heart wasn't in it, but <laughs> I'll take it, better than an F. But that's the purpose, guys, right? So even in those moments when we have a failure, there's magic there, there's opportunity there, there's something there that we can hang our hat on that we can be happy about. Because I, I look back on that F with fondness because it taught me something, guys. I don't know if you guys can see on my wall here, you probably can't. I guess I could zoom. Do you guys want me to zoom out? It says, in the moment, spur of the moment. Look at this poster here, right? It says, I'm coming for everything they said I couldn't have. Every single day, guys, I work, I strive, I seek to get better because I never wanna feel the feeling I felt that day when I got the F. I never wanna feel the feeling I had when my counselor told me that I wasn't good enough to stay in college, that I wasn't good enough to get into medical school. I never wanna have that happen, guys. I never wanna lose the magic. I work every single day and I stay positive every single day because I know that even in the darkest hours, I know where I've come from, I know where I've been, I know where I've experienced, and I recognize that if I slack off, even for a moment, that I put myself in a position to experience that again. And for many of you guys, right? Like, let me zoom this back in here. Sorry for the focus here. This is right, this is one take, it's okay. You guys are with me, right? It's okay, I gotta focus for a second. Um, you guys, we can recognize that for some of you guys, you get shut down by something that's happening, right? Or this coronavirus happening, you shut down. No guys, don't shut down, rise up. Open up your eyes, your mind. See the opportunity that's in front of you to be better, to be more, to be different to reach your goals, to find the magic, guys, to be a happier, a healthier, a smarter, a more educated person in this time, right? Can you care stronger for someone? Can you make the phone call, right? How many of you guys, I hate talking on the phone. I'll be honest. I hate talking to people in general, right? <laughs> but <laughs> that's just because I'm like, I'm, a, I'm an extreme introvert. I like my own space. I like being around my small circle. Um, so it's difficult for me, right? If you guys see me at conferences, I'm a big hugger and I talk a lot, but you'll see and you guys will recognize that like, I'm like, as soon as like the crowd starts to like look away, I'm gonna I'm try to run away and try to bolt away to get away from the crowd. But for all you guys, who's the phone call to that you can make today, right? I challenge you guys. That's your guys' challenge for today. Make a phone call to someone who you know might need a message from you, who you know, you know what, actually, matter of fact, I'm gonna make a phone call right now. Let's, you guys wanna do it together? This is live action. Live, live action here. <laughs> Let's see who's gonna come up in my, I'm gonna roll through my contacts and see who comes up. Okay, all right, my friend Poncho came up. Let's call him together. Just in case he answers crazily, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it to my ear and then we'll put it on speaker for you guys. He's not gonna answer, of course, because we're live action right now. This is the beauty of one taking it, is that things don't always work out like you, like you think. But let's see, I'll leave a message if it comes to the voicemail. Yep, voicemail. All right, let's see. I know this is maybe, this is kind of whatever. I gotta encourage you guys to make this phone call. Poncho, how's it going, man? Andre, I'm just calling to check in, was thinking about you, hope you, Kristen, and the family are doing well through all this. Uh, give me a call back, me a chance, man, later. Hey, I made a phone call. He's gonna call me back later, we'll talk, we'll chalk it up. But hopefully my voice will brighten his day. Hopefully we will connect more, right? So you guys take an example from this. Hopefully your friend will answer because they care about you. <laughs> and make a phone call today, choose, right? To find the magic in this opportunity. You got nowhere to go, nothing to do. Reconnect with people that you haven't had time to connect with, right? Reconnect with yourself, prove yourself, all these things. So that's my message for today. I hope this wasn't crazy. If you guys think I'm nuts, Comment below, let me know that I'm nuts for making a phone call on this uh, video right now. But I was talking to my student group. This is off topic, on topic. I was talking to my student group, I mean my coaching group for my students. And I was saying one of the things that I'm trying to work on even before this whole social distancing happened was that I was trying to live more in the moment. You guys know me, I'm a very serious guy. I'm a very like, what's the next thing? Future oriented, domination. Like that's my mindset. And sometimes that can get me into trouble because I'm always looking ahead. And so what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to look for this. I'm trying to be more in the moment and say, what can I do right now? Now. He's calling back. Okay, I'm gonna call him back. Hold on. Let me just. Hey, I'm, I'm live right now. I was calling you to prove a point, uh, but you didn't answer. So let me call you right back when I get off of here. <laughs> All right. <laughs>
<laughs> so <laughs> for you guys, right? Choose to be in the moment. For me, I'm choosing to be in the moment. I'm choosing to share with you guys and create lots of content for you guys, just to for you guys to have something to enjoy during this time to uplift you. Because I know there's a lot of pessimism, a lot of negativity around you, a lot of people standing still. I want you to be what? Positive and productive every single day. So that's what I'm gonna bring to you guys. So thank you guys very much for listening to my rambles. I'm gonna go ahead and call Poncho back. Everyone comment in the box, say, hey, Poncho. Say, say we appreciate you, Poncho. So he doesn't think that I'm weird for calling him on a one take video here. So thank you guys very much. I'm Dr. Andre Pine said I'm out of here. You guys are always on the website. If you guys wanna connect with me more, connect with my community, my students who are amazing. I'm the cult of greatness, the cog in the building. Get over to my website, studenttransformation.com. Get into a course, get into a coaching program. Come on, y'all, connect with us. And if you are enjoying this, if it's your first time hitting us up, make sure you guys subscribe and hit the bell. You gotta turn on the bell for notifications so you know when you got new content so you don't miss this opportunity to get better for today. So your challenge, your takeaway from today to get better, make that phone call to someone that you have been thinking about and haven't had time to make that phone call to. Call them, check in, see how they're doing. You guys have a great, great day. How do we always close? No excuses, just dominate, guys. See you later. Today is the day, guys. No more excuses, no more complaining. You're going to take your future in your own hands. You're going to dominate. You're going to be successful. Get to my website, studenttransformation.com. I challenge you. What are you going to do today to make your life better?